classes. Okay. I have create four class. Okay. Okay. Uh, then uh, I have to declare at least two class. Actually, one is a main class. It always public. Okay. Oh yeah. Main class always public. And then I have to create another class and declare as a public. So it is possible. Uh, as for your answer, it is possible. Okay. Yes, sir. So, Praful, uh, can uh, make a program, uh, just short program, okay? Just uh, simply hi, create a, uh, create a Java program. No, Roshan, I start the recording, uh, okay? You start proceeding the classes. Sorry? I'm telling Are that I start the recording, okay? You start the class. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes. Yeah, I need to be do a program, sir. You want me to do the program? Yeah, I'm taking 10 minutes sir, to clear this all concept. Okay. Just uh, okay. simple uh, take it. So please, uh, Praful, uh, please show me uh, your concept. Actually, uh, in a in a, in a single project, okay, in a in a same project, when you declare okay. uh, some other classes, okay. Only in in a single package, only one class, maybe only uh, only one class will be public, and we have to declare other class as a public, so it will uh, get some error. Okay. Okay, so okay. Our uh, your concept is okay, but uh, uh, for a different different class, actually you have a uh, in your package and in your in your project there is a uh, two package. Okay, so in other packages. Uh, Declare a public class, okay, and we have to call this class inside other package. Okay, so sir, that's uh, one minute, sir. Uh, uh, pardon me, sir, but one thing: if uh, uh, the package is main folder and uh, and there are uh, subfolders of two, then it will be okay, no, sir, to have the two public classes. Yes, yes, okay. And in the same public uh, class, we can cannot have the another class has a public yes yeah okay because uh, when you not declare any access modifier okay Give yeah. it as a default so it will, will be default access modifier okay yeah by default it will de default access modifier okay but uh, you have to declare any public so we need to write public and we need to keyword public keyword okay yeah yes sir okay let's uh, start my two decisions and in that session, I will discuss about array. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, this is I want to uh, about I mean taking this class as for uh, my first class. Oh, sorry, let me try another thing. Okay. So this is an array. Okay. First of that. Okay, so array. Array is a collection of homogeneous, homogeneous means similar type of data. Okay, so array is a collection of homogeneous data types. Array are used to store multiple value in a single variable. Okay, instead of declaration separate variable for each value. Okay, so what means? Suppose uh, uh, more actually you have started a company. And in your company, more than 100 uh, employees. Okay. So we need to store their details. Okay. So how to store their details? Okay. So we need to create a separate list, actually list. Okay. And inside the list, you can store the data of their employee. Okay. But uh, in an array, array also store the data, but uh, it is stored only a single type of data. Means uh, in an array, I'm declaring an uh, integer array. So it will store only integer value. I'm uh, declare any string array. So it will store only string element. Okay. A string value. means uh, yeah, it's a similar type of data type. I mean, I store the variable as a similar type of data. Okay. And uh, array follow the index value. And this is a syntax. Actually, this is a syntax of uh, getting array. 
first we have to declare any array so we need to first uh, declare any data types okay then uh, after uh, you put any name you select any name as a uh, which which point to the array okay so array name okay and then after it is a braces okay square braces so this is a syntax of an array okay and uh, uh, some about array let some topic some point about array the array is a collection of similar type of data array is a object object which is present in a object class actually array is not a class actually is the object and uh, i'm just uh, create a way variable of array okay and this variable point out this array object okay when i'm creating like this uh, int uh, array give an array name okay so this variable point this object array object okay and this uh, object is a is present in the class object class because uh, you know about object in a java in a java object name as object a uh, object is a class okay this is a sub class of all classes this is a parent class okay parent class of all classes like uh, integer yeah, is a okay. class string is a class cat is a class double everything is a class okay, okay and class. this is the super class means parent of all classes super class so this yes as is yeah so this array object also the object of uh, this classes okay and this object occupy the heap memory actually all object okay all object occupy heap memory when you create a object of any classes so object will create a uh, object will occupy the memory and uh, in, in which memory in a heap memory okay and declaration and creation of array so i am pass some syntax first we will uh, see theory and then after uh, completing the theory i will show some diagram and after uh, explain this all concept by practically okay by using program so let's first see go through this okay. so this is a syntax of a array first we will declare data types which type of array you, you want to create okay so this is a string so my array is a string type okay and inside the array only string value will store so this is a array name this is a syntax and this is a oh, sorry yeah. this is a creation part okay now next you access array element by refer the index number okay suppose uh, you have create a uh, 10 actually you have create uh, any array and put their size as a 10 okay they are uh, actually okay so the, the sir, size good of good this uh, yes good afternoon sir now only i have joined sir the topics are going long sir. when has been started sir? uh yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. so i'm uh just uh, go through this point okay, okay i'm sir. provide you okay okay sir okay sir actually not i'm doing uh, much more i'm just ah, okay, uh, okay here is point okay so sure, sir. this is a uh, okay so this is a array array and uh, what is the size of array i'm uh, at the time when i'm creating array, 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 array sir uh, yeah this is a 100 okay so array size is 100 so when I'm uh, when I'm point uh, some a specific value, okay. So how can I retrieve this value by using index number? Uh, I am get value, okay. And uh, second is the uh, array index start with start with zero, okay. So zero is the first element, and after one is the second, two is the third, okay. So my main point is the uh, array start with zero index and uh, some different different kind of array okay inside uh, there is a two type basically two types of array 1d array and multi dimensional array multi dimensional array also called the array of array okay inside the array is nothing but but uh, in the multi dimensional array there have also two types 2d array 
and uh, 3d array okay and uh, again uh, 2d array has a two types okay suppose uh, 2d array has a concept actually follow the concept row and column base okay row and column base okay so suppose uh, uh, number of column okay number of column for each row will be same so this type of array called matrix array okay and uh, second is uh, when a uh, uh, number of column different for each array okay this type of array called jack array so uh, 2d array there are two types matrix array that means simple array and jack array okay so some declaration process how to declare your array okay so there is a various way to declare any object uh, declare of array okay so i am clear about this some so some uh, so some way how to declare okay so this is a first declaration uh, first uh, you have to put uh, data types okay then uh, pass uh, in array name and use curly braces as uh, so not curly braces parentheses okay sir it's a square so, bracket is, uh, i think Ah uh, yeah 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 square bracket. Okay, so okay, you can put uh, this square bracket after the variable and variable name and before the variable name. Okay, like this uh, in, the, in this uh, line, I am declaring uh, integer. Uh, sorry, please uh, mute your uh, mic. Let's make some noise. Okay. So this is the syntax of a uh, declaration of array. So you can uh, declare your array in uh, the four way. Okay, you can choose any way. Okay, like uh, you can write this like this, uh, like this also. Okay. So this is a four way to declare your array. And after declaration, you have to create. Okay. So. Sir, washing machine pipe is on, right? ओके सो दिस इज अ क्रिएशन प्रोसेस ओके सो हाउ टू क्रिएट योर एर ए सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू डिक्लेयर ओके देन यू हैव टू क्रिएट सो इट्स अ सिंटेक्स टू क्रिएट योर एर ए फर्स्ट एक्चुअली यू क्रिएट अ ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ एर ए सो विच वेरिएबल पॉइंट आउट दिस दिस ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो दिस इज अ नेम एक्चुअली आई एम ऑलरेडी डिक्लेयर नेम ऑफ वेरिएबल ओके okay so this variable point this array this object of array okay sir new is so, array name or sir actually new is not array name new is a keyword that help to create object okay, okay. by using new keyword i am creating object just create object but uh, we need to any reference we need to need reference which is point out this array uh, this object okay so we actually you create a object okay but uh, no uh, who is i actually people how know about uh, this uh, object and how to point this object so to point this object we use a variable okay we need to use a variable this variable point okay so this is a way to create your uh, array and second is the uh, now i am creating object and now i am uh, declaring and creating object okay so that time i have to initialize value okay in a uh, your array so this is some syntax of uh, initialization okay so how to initialize first you have to write int the means data type and second uh, your variable and uh, square bracket and then you have to because uh, in this line both 
uh, both uh, function actually uh, concept will uh, run actually first i will initialize and this is a part of a declaration and this is a part of initialization okay of array is a uh, this is this part is a declaration part and this part uh, is in lesson okay at the time uh, at the single line you can declare and you can create and initialize okay and declare and initialize in the same line and in this line in this line okay all process okay this is a part of uh, declaration this is a part of initialization uh, sorry so uh, this is a part of initialization uh, sorry create see creating sir, first uh, initialize have, and have then, one query sir sir yes. new has indicated that a single line array was sir if i call that line you need to call that line means automatically i have create an object for that new means actually, uh, actually this is not a calling uh, way okay i'm okay. just uh, uh, know you okay. just uh, how to initialize your uh, how to initialize how to declare and how to create your array okay this is okay. all process of uh, declaration initialization creation okay but uh, Sir, uh, in but previous uh, before the variable I, we have defined the int a really, afterwards in also we have defined a new int how why it can be declared as a two times a int a then really, new int sir uh, uh, listen, listen, listen. Uh, this is the first uh, you know know about separate okay separately know about separately okay. so this is a separate part yes, to declare array okay when you have to require any array in your project okay. so this way to declare your object actually array object okay this is a way to create okay it is it is only declare okay but not create any object of array okay so this is a way to create object okay of an array okay but uh, when you create object suppose uh, you create any uh, method so we need to provide some body for a method so that's why you need to initialize actually you mention any variable so we need to initialize the variable okay so this is a this is a way to initialize your variable okay this is a way separate way this is a separate way but uh, this way okay. combination of two combination of two which is first is a declaration and second is the initialization okay so in a single line i can declare and initialize the very uh, the array okay and in this line i can done all these three process those three process can done in a single line okay so in a single line i can uh, declare i can initialize and i can uh, variable i can initialize some value okay for array so this is the best way actually this is a best way at the time of, of uh, yes sir uh, sir i have a doubt sir yes hello sir yes tell me what's the doubt sir uh, if i given uh, any values on that square bracket means uh, if that is for means, that uh, on okay okay i am uh, uh, iswar uh, yes, please uh, wait uh, i am uh, share with you actually some diagram i am already created to clear this all topics okay 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 so for, after uh, this uh, after finishing this whole concept okay theory part i am uh, show some diagram and i have okay. to make you clear by using diagram okay okay so in a single line i have uh, done my declaration initialize uh, creation and initialization okay and this is a separate part to initialize the object okay i am so this uh, uh, this all about single dimension array okay when i am so some programs that some you clear about your doubt is will clear okay how to declare and what is a function what is okay everything
so next uh, i have some condition okay suppose uh, you have to declare you have to declare more than two variable in a single line suppose int a int b actually uh, here c Suppose I am declaring int uh, a something okay and uh, int b okay int c okay so I am declaring in my project three variable separate separate so why I am writing uh, three line I can uh, I have to I can declare in a single line also so I can I can write uh, this types okay as it so this is same for this uh, okay you can write a separate you can uh, declare actually you can declare separately and you can declare in a single line also okay so when i am write uh, this type so why need to write uh, in uh, this uh, syntax okay i am declaring a variable more than one variable in a single line okay so in case of array i am uh, declaring two array in a single line okay so this is a case when i am declaring this type okay int uh, array and uh, this parenthesis include this a variable and also this a so that means in this case both a and b is an array is a single dimensional array and uh, when i am write uh, this type so okay i am declaring in this way so in this case also both variable as a is a array okay single dimensional array and uh, when i am uh, declare when i am declare this way okay so in this case a is a array but uh, b is a normal array okay you can use you can use parenthesis uh, square bracket before the variable okay but uh, you can declare a square bracket before the variable so it's uh, used for this actually is include for this variable and this is a a this is a integer okay and that name is a so variable a okay point out this array integer array but b b is just a normal variable okay uh, so first i will say uh, c diagram okay how to yeah. uh, you are able to see my screen my screen is visible yes, well. okay uh, sir. Yes, sir. so there is a actually there is a three way okay some uh, waiter first i have to oh, font size bit large chill then open uh, some more than one software then my laptop getting hang okay so sorry ah why oh, it's not select So first, I am declare uh, any variable. Okay, then uh, we need to initialize it. Okay, so a is equal to new, okay. and uh, when I am pass actually at the time of uh, at the time of creation of object uh, array, so we need to provide some value. We need to provide size of array. Okay, this is must. Okay, must we have to uh, put the size here? Okay, so I am giving uh, when uh, actually I am uh, giving providing five. Okay, so it will create. Okay, so it will create a, a array and the array size, size is. is uh, sorry. Uh, what did you say? I I didn't get you. What did you say? Can we? Can we make the size of the array in first line also? Ah, uh, 
let me uh, so first actually first is declaration okay first is declaration part okay so when i am declare okay uh, at the time of declaration i am not providing uh, sorry first i will show you clear your doubt okay first suppose i am uh, declare any variable uh, okay in a okay so this is a part uh, so this is a declaration of array okay but uh, on the time of declaration i am i cannot uh, provide size okay so that time i am providing the size at the time of declaration we got error okay error okay we saw some error okay it's not a good way okay when you declare as uh, this type so will you will get error okay so when you provide a uh, array size at the time of creation that time you provide array size so this is a creation part new int a and that time you must uh, to provide their size okay so inside the square bracket i am uh, give uh, five okay so array size is a uh, size of array is a five okay so see the diagram okay so okay so when i am uh, declare okay array and uh, give a size so it makes uh, array okay so array and uh, how many columns in a uh, array so there is a six okay one two three four and five okay and uh, okay so this is a uh, refer this is refer to this array okay and uh, the index value of array will start with zero okay so so this uh, this uh, line so index will zero okay zero one two and three okay and uh, when i'm uh, when i am write uh, in this actually declare in this way in this uh, line i am already declare and as well as i am uh, initialize the value okay so according to this way i am uh, put some value in array how many value in uh, this array so 1 0 2, 1 and 4 3. yeah yeah but actually zero is your index value okay but size of array yes, what is the size of this type of array four. this is a four okay four. so it which it will automatically create a uh, array okay and their size is four and uh, put uh, put value in uh, all every index okay so this is a zero index one index two index and three index a size of array is a four understood yes sir so uh, yeah and uh, please notice down uh, this line actually uh, it is not same actually uh, you have a uh, create we have to create a uh, array with the size of 10 so we not required to fulfill uh, fulfill your all block okay in a array you can declare the uh, 10 times okay this consider this uh, this diagram okay see this line okay so in this line i am uh, at the time of uh, creating okay i am uh, declare the size of array is 10 okay so it will create a uh, array okay and their size is 10 but i am putting some value in the in this array i am putting some uh, five value or fixed value so it is start with zero so 10 will store at the index number of 0 20 it index number of 20 okay in a sequence way but uh, rest uh, block will empty okay will have to empty so because when i am to pre i when i am to point uh, this block that is the uh, index number of 7 so it will be so uh, in default value okay so what default value because this is a integer type okay this array is integer type so what is the default value 
of integer the default value of integer is 0 so it will when i am to retrieve this index so it will print 0 okay uh, i clear my point hello sir yes sir for example we have given a int a then square bracket if i have a 10 then afterwards um, after this uh, equal to symbol i have given the some uh, values in the uh, curly braces or a uh, curve bracket means uh, uh, what will uh, happen sir without yes? given a new int uh, without giving actually when you not use new, new keyboard okay okay sir. Uh, actually there is a uh, some uh, uh, actually uh, there is some other cases okay uh, there are so uh, so many cases to initialize, create, and uh, declare. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, in a theory part, I am already uh, show you some other case. This is also uh, other way to create object. Okay, this is a uh, separate. Okay, but when I am uh, use this type of okay, this way in I am declaring and initializing in a single way. There are some oh, wait wait. Uh, let's uh, show you a theory. Okay. So for a one D array, there is a different way. Okay. Uh, there are uh, some uh, is a separate way. Okay. It's a separate way to create. When you use separately all all parts. Okay. Declaration, initialization, activation. We have to create separately so you can follow this uh, concept okay first we initialize uh, declare in slides and then uh, separately in slides all columns okay all columns okay but uh, you have to avoid sir, this uh, online so i ask you that the need in this necessary we need to give them in ario sir or it is an uh, it is like simple uh, it is not necessary, sir. Int, you have given no sir. Declaration, creation, insertion together. Okay. Int uh, a square bracket equal to oh, actually, int uh, square sir, bracket. Actually, this uh, this line is not widely used. Okay, maximum okay, people sir. use this line. But uh, in a Java, already declare this uh, way. Okay, so my responsibility to familiar with uh, this concept okay but uh, i'm not uh, forcing you to use uh, this way actually you have to initialize for this way okay mm. but uh, in uh, actually mention in uh, java okay this is uh, another parts of uh, initialization so just i'm familiar with this concept okay but not forcing you to uh, follow this uh, follow this uh, way okay i'm always suggest you and I'll always i prefer I am uh, prefer you to write in this way, okay, in this line, uh, sorry, uh, when you have to create, so write uh, initialize A and is equal to, and that times I have uh, put some value, okay, initialize the array, okay, so this is the best way and preferable, okay. but I am just familiar with this concept. But this concept is uh, actually you know you don't need actually you don't know about this line at uh, this con uh, way. So at the time of uh, retrieve, actually you are uh, you you need to retrieve your uh, array. Okay. So we not understand their execution. Okay. So okay when I am uh, execute and uh, when I am retrieve all data by using for loop, that times uh, this concept. Okay we need uh, to this concept okay to this. so okay so this is our first array one d array and come to the second array second is a multi-dimensional array multi-dimensional array the also called or, uh, array of array one. because uh, it's uh, actually uh they are all index okay uh, index not they are all row all row point out 
other array okay all uh, row okay point out a different uh, array and their all row point out different array okay so first uh, see this diagram so this is a 2d array okay. is also a multi dimensional okay so 2d array basically follow the concept row and column okay so suppose i am creating a 2d array okay so okay first uh, uh, see what syntax of initialization and uh, okay so for 2d array same okay uh, array name row index column index then you put value okay so this is a declaration decree uh, declaration okay see uh, internet connection is unstable uh, this is the syntax to declare your array okay and uh, yeah. this is a creation okay create when you create array so follow this uh, Okay. okay and uh, it's uh, not done at the time of creating okay creating a array that time you have to provide their size okay uh, and uh, you cannot provide any size at the time of declaring okay so please note it and the initialization okay so this is a separate way this is the separate way to initialize okay this is a separate way to initialize the array and uh, when you write a single line you have to declare as well as your initialize so this is a syntax okay uh, sorry yeah. okay and uh, you have to write uh, in a single line we have to declare creation and uh, initialization okay so both in a single line all all in a single line okay and uh, in the 2d array also have some conditions actually when a uh, condition will occur when uh, you have uh, to declare other uh, other uh, array in a single line okay so that times uh, this condition will must to know about this all condition okay so in this case in this case i am declaring uh, i am uh, declaring two array okay when i have to declare two array so i can write uh, in this way int then after uh, square bracket then after to variable okay so variable a use this two square bracket and as uh, uh, b also okay so see this all cases okay to the array to the array okay but uh, notice this line in this line you got error compile time error why because uh, this is a syntax okay because uh, already mentioned uh, you can uh, when you use two array in a single line so a square brackets always uh, put before the before the uh, variables name okay but uh, some cases okay there is a uh, two variable variable a and variable b you can write in this way because uh, line uh, number 5 i am writing this okay this is okay for first variable with first variable name you can put uh, before uh, after the after the variable you can put uh, this square bracket after the variable first but when when you write this way okay so it will got error it shows some error okay compile time error see now this is a 3d array 
and same as 3D array. 3D array always uh, first uh, data type, okay. Then after uh, need a variable name, and it is uh, first index flip first uh, square bracket point array index, okay. Array index and second is a uh, row index and third is a uh, column index, okay. So let's see diagram for a. Uh, uh, actually, you understood about uh, what is a two D array and uh, what is look like. Actually, this is a two D array, and this diagram is uh, uh, of a jagged array because uh, I am already told you, jagged uh, array has a different uh, column each row. Yes. Uh, if I give an index value zero, means it will reference at uh, first row. Uh, you know about what is a matrix. Oh, yes, sir. Matrix has a uh, some uh, row. Actually, uh, you know, understand about row and column. Oh, yes, okay. sir. Um, yes, so understood. And you know about uh, what is a matrix. Okay. It is uh, in this diagram, we have a three row. Uh, okay, yes, sir. suppose we I'm uh, writing three column, two column, then the yeah. three column. Actually, this, uh, the, suppose I'm writing this line. Okay, okay this sir. line. Int a double uh, square bracket. Okay, then I will slice this. Okay, so this uh, first uh, this first square bracket refer row and second is column. Okay, so and uh, what you understand uh, is this line. Okay. Sir, if because I give a zero comma line, zero means it will reference the value of ten. Zero means zero means uh, zero row and zero column. That yes, sir, means uh, this index. 10. Then, uh, yes, sir. The, then zero yeah. comma one means it's reference at twenty. Then zero comma two means it's a reference at twenty three. <laughs> this is not reference. This is the element. Okay. Uh, when I have to retrieve this element, so what is the location of this? Actually, zero comma point. one. Actually, how to point? Uh, this. One Actually, comma I'm, one. I'm uh, just uh, okay. Uh, first, let's see. Understand this line. So in this line, uh, this is one block, 10, 20, and 30, okay? This is in a single uh, array, uh, curly brackets, and 22 and 23 is uh, in a separate curly bracket and third. So that means uh, in this array, number of uh, row is three, okay? Number of row, actually, what you understand to see this line, okay? Because uh, actually, know this uh see this line this uh, square bracket refer row and this is uh, for column okay and after initializing so what will uh how to understand actually this line okay inside the array there is a three set okay this is a three set 10 20 23 in a one 22 20 in a uh in a single okay uh, curly brackets and uh, so that means this block is a uh, actually there is a three blocks okay one two and three so that means uh, number of row is three okay and uh, in a number of row uh, put uh, some column okay so number of row has a uh, point out some number of uh, other other class uh, other matrix uh, sorry may not matrix other array okay so suppose uh, actually index will actually add a follow index value so zero this is one and this is two okay so when i'm so at the zero row okay zero row point out this index okay this array uh, zero row point out this array and this array has a three column okay three column okay and uh, in each column, some value. Okay. So first, I understand uh, this, uh, and I'm uh, some making some program, and I make it make it clear. Okay. Let's. Uh, so I'm so some program to clear all this stuff. Okay. So first. Uh,
already created a uh, Java project. Okay, so everyone know how to create project. Everyone know. Yes, so, sir. Click Java. Inside Java, actually once again I repeat. Simply click on new. Okay, uh, file mm -hmm. and new. Then okay, Java click on uh, Java project. And then after your create, create your project. Okay, suppose uh, you create uh, your project and give a project name and simply click on okay so that time your project will create as okay the project create so after creating click on project name project and uh, click on src not src click on uh, package and right click click okay the package and new and after yeah, click on yeah. class okay so on that uh, you have to give uh, the class name uh, remember these things class name uh, of first letter of class name must be capital okay so and okay. and uh, it is sir, optional sir. you write uh, actually sir. it's optional yes are a r a r a o i well, r r -E. Class is created. Mm. So, okay, uh, tell me what is the first step? How to declare my array? Tell me. Okay. Okay. We need to create a data type and then variable equal to. Then, this can be. This is my first uh, way. Okay, this is my first process. I have declared. Okay, so I am declaring array. Okay, and the array name is A. Okay, then after my what is my second uh, steps? So then now. Uh, Again, uh, data type. We need to declare. Uh, sorry, declare is also done. Nice. We need to uh, create. Okay, this is a generic uh, way. Okay, this is a generic way, normal way. Okay. Yes. So I'm follow step by step. This is a normal way, uh, generic way. So after uh, declaring array, okay. So we need to initialize. Uh, not in a slide we need to uh, create so how to create create array is a uh, new in a and remember one thing at the time of uh, actually he saw some error why it saw some error because he suggest me to put some value here okay means uh, provide their size okay so i'm providing some size is uh, 10 okay so array size is 10 okay okay second step done and uh, third step third step is initialization okay so we need to give a value uh, we need to give it value but uh, i am just initialize all the three index okay all the 10 index uh separately okay i'm not uh, using uh, curly brackets to store okay i'm not using any other way i'm just uh, a step i mean show you array program a step by step so what is the process uh what is the process to store data in uh each index value suppose uh, i have i have to initialize zero index with some value so a zero a zero because why a zero because array chose so array have index, index value must zero. be started with a zero so. yes so suppose i am giving some value to it okay so that after writing this line okay so in array at the index value zero the element 12 will store any this uh, element will store on the in the index at zero index okay so 
and then again uh, one thirteen And uh, I'm skip uh, three index, okay? I'm skip three index and four index. Start five, uh, six, uh, and seven, and eight. Okay, I'm skip also eight. Okay, so I'm sledging, and uh, now I am retrieve some value. Okay, so how to retrieve the element of an array as a particular index? System dot okay. Suppose uh, you understand this line. I'm writing uh, once again. I'm so diagram. Okay. So see this line. A at the zero. It has store at zero. Okay. When I am writing uh, at the, I mean store the value of twenty. Uh, store this element at what index? Index number one. So it will store here. And uh, same process as okay. But uh, uh, again, now uh, I'm writing some line. This is a uh, array. This has a size of ten. Okay, so I'm direct I store here now at the nine index. I'm at the nine index number of nine uh, index nine. I'm storing some value. Okay, so nine. So when I'm writing this line at the nine eight, so here, here thirty four will store, okay. And uh, this uh, all blocks will remain empty. But uh, I'm uh, point out and I'm retrieving this index, so it will show the value zero, okay. Come to my clips. Okay. So when I'm retrieve uh, some particular value, suppose I am uh, retrieving uh, what is the value of index two. Okay, I don't know what is the value of index two. Actually, actually this time I am already declared. So you can show what is the value of uh, at the two. It's thirty. But uh, at the data I will uh, store in randomly. So I don't know what is the what is the value of uh, at at a uh, uh, some particular index. Okay. So I particularly how to keep a six. If if I now writing this and execute this and run this program. So see. So 83. Okay. So 83. this value 83. So at the point at the index value of 6, the element is 83. Okay. Same as uh, you can uh, point out A9. any 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 particular index. Okay. Any. Suppose I'm, uh, yeah, any. Just uh, actually, your ad, uh, your array is a yeah. size of ten. Okay, so. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Suppose I'm uh, point out seven. So what is the element of seven? Yeah, at the seven, fifty three. Okay, you see. And uh, suppose I am point out. At four, so I'm not declare any value at the four index. Okay, so what will return? Let's check. Zero. At the four, this is default value. Default value Zero. for what? 
actually this this array is a integer type so integer it so integer default value so integer default value zero but uh, when i am declaring uh, array type uh, so not array type any class type or any non predatory like a uh, string type okay so strings default value is null so it will print null okay when i am uh, point out uh, those index which have empty index okay that time that times it will show default value according to their data type suppose i am a uh, double uh, use double so double has a 0.0 okay uh, sort sort uh, is also zero okay so according yeah. to data type yeah okay. if i use them uh, yeah. and uh, again i am uh, suppose uh, i am taking 12 because uh, my array also uh, is a uh, 10 uh, size okay but uh, this is a uh, 12 so no any index uh, in my array so what will return zero uh, print uh, uh, not here it is a exception it's throw throw exception and which kind of exception let's see array index out of bound exception okay it means uh, uh, in your array no any index yeah. like this okay because uh, your array size uh, in between 10 yeah. okay. actually i am talking about uh, the array but array has some disadvantage also okay oh, array also some disadvantage uh, actually uh, hello uh, sis yes your mic uh, you create disturbance please uh, mute your mic while you asking uh, something then you open your mic okay unmute unmute and uh, okay so this is a exception bounded uh, sorry out of bound exception okay and uh, there is some disadvantage also suppose i am creating i am creating integer type array so uh, we don't uh, we can't enter uh, insert any string value any double value any character value okay this type of array or uh, only accept single type of data means uh, means uh, i am declaring yes. integer type of array so their all field all index will store only integer value but uh, when i am when i am try to store some string value of course string value uh, okay so it so error okay it uh, doesn't accept any string value okay and uh, when i am uh, create uh, any string string whose name okay Yeah, uh, this is okay. But uh, in the uh, string array, we need uh, you want to store any string value. So that times we saw some error. Okay. Again, we want. some 
missing the integer value so it show error okay so this is the uh, disadvantage of array okay this is the one disadvantage of array and one other okay uh, so this uh, diagram again so suppose i am uh, array of uh, size is uh, 10 okay but i am putting some less value actually uh, you create uh, 10 times uh, array okay but you put uh, some less value okay so each every block has occupied some memory so this vacant uh, this place okay will store uh, some data uh, some uh, space so actually i need a uh, uh this value okay but uh, uh this value is a uh, vacant so it's uh, useless okay because uh, in array there is no function to auto update actually when i am uh, insert uh, some other uh, objects so that time say uh, will uh, update uh, itself okay so this is no uh, this function not in a uh, array array must have have to declare and uh, put some value uh, size okay but using this way at the time of initialization you can put uh, some value so according to this value it, it will create a array okay on uh, according to this and create the size according to this element okay so in this line this is a, a disadvantage of array okay. because uh, it's a uh, wastage for memory this block waste memory okay. sir one second please sir actually uh suppose uh, you start a company i'm uh, just real time real scenario you start a company okay so for uh, for every employee you make uh, a house okay to stay to stay every employee you build a house okay suppose uh, you uh, you think uh, in my company uh, more than 100 worker okay have a more than 100 worker so for uh, 100 worker you build uh, 100 houses okay but uh, only 50 work simply employ work in your company so this 50 employee occupy one on one houses okay but raise house totally waste you know my point you yeah, got it my point yes, sir, 50 houses, houses are not uh, the... actually, uh, actually uh, just i'm taking you uh, telling you normal uh, general scenario okay suppose you start up a company okay you are a owner of company and you think uh, actually uh, you think uh, in your company 100 work 100 employee work in your company okay 100 worker and actually 100 employee work in your company okay so so you have to do one thing for a uh, employee to stay to stay all employee to stay all employee you build houses okay to stay the employees okay but uh, in your company only 50 employee work okay only 50 work employee work so this uh, employee take one one houses but rest houses actually you build 100 houses but uh, 50 houses in your use okay okay but rest 50 house waste because uh, no one uh, staying in there in these houses so it totally waste so that is the concept of array you create a array uh, uh, size of 10 okay but you put uh, some uh, one two three four five six seven value okay but rest block will occupy some memory okay but this uh, occupy occupied memory totally waste because no one no data here and no need to no need to create this block and you no need to use this block okay no one use to this block okay understood okay sir so this is a 
disadvantage of uh, array again. Okay. So it's a six program, and this is the general form. Okay, and uh, I'm uh, so other. Uh, Other way to create. At the same time, I'm declaring, and this is the preferable. 12, 24, 26. Okay. So, sir, screen and the zoom. Uh, I skip not visual. Uh, sorry, sorry. Okay. See, again, uh, see my vis invisible. Okay. Okay. So this is the second way. First, I am uh, declare, and uh, second is initialize. Okay. And uh, when I am retrieve some value at the actually when I am write this uh, way, so it will uh, create a uh, array, and uh, the size of array is uh, four. Okay. And point uh, some particular uh, particular index uh, so how to is s by s okay eight two three so 25 so here 0 1 2 and 3 so at 3 the element is 25 okay and uh, so other uh, other okay. and uh, this line same new int okay. and So in a single line, I declare array, create array, and uh, initialize. Okay, as well. So in a single line, I'm done all three process. Okay. So for this, uh, I'm I'm uh, write forty six. What this is forty six or not? So zero, one, two. And three at three, there is a sir, how 46. Do I all those values in array. Uh, sorry, I didn't get how it. How to assess yeah. you assessing one a particular value? You give an index value of here three means it will display the 46. Sir. How to assess all those values on a single step? Sir? Yeah, I'm, uh, sir, I am showing in a diagram. Also, actually, you don't uh, you know, not understand this diagram. Actually, I have understood, sir. Uh, but actually, uh, I'm they go, this line. Actually, I'm writing this line. Okay, mm -hmm. this line. So it will uh, create array. And uh, what is the size of array according to element? Okay, inside yeah. uh, this curly brackets, uh, I'm putting four element or putting ten element. Four. So automatically, uh, it increase their size. Okay, mm -hmm. array increase their according to uh, increase their size according to element. How many element uh, in uh, this curly brackets? There is a four, one, four. two, three, and four. So array will create and uh, increase their size according to element. And this size is four. So one, two, three, and four. Their size is four, but uh, their index value is start with zero. So what is the index value of each block? So for this uh, column, index value zero, for this index value one, for this index value two, okay, and so on. So this line also okay, uh, where I'm right. I'm writing this way in the a equal to new then enter and but uh, but uh, you actually noted one point uh, again uh, in that time. Actually, this is a creating okay and I am told you at the time of uh, creation you need to pass some value okay but uh, when you use actually 
when you declare uh, with together okay so i'm uh, declaring parts uh, together okay so in this case we don't need to value in slide here okay we need to size declare here because uh, it this array declare their size according to this element and, uh, how many element in this okay so according to this element create actually array will create and increase their size okay. so inside this array how many uh, index uh, two, three, in array so one five, two three four five and six so it will create a uh, array their size is six Here, here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, create a array, and their index size is zero, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, sorry. Seven. Okay. See array zero, one, two, three, four, five. Index value to five. Okay. And the size of array is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And value stored in the this value at the zero okay so how to store value where is value is for at this index value store uh, two okay so at this get to this index uh, element five four three something okay for this index uh, 65 and uh, 60, 76 stored at uh, this index and last store at the saver okay and uh, when i have to print some specific value so just simply system out print ln inside the system out uh, uh, declare this index okay so how to declare this index simply right so this sop system out print ln okay yeah. which this is a 0 1 2 and 3 so 3 okay so it will print the value of 65 okay 65 will print okay when i execute this line so it will print 65 because 0 1 2 3 at the index value of 3, the element is 65. Okay. So, 1D array is clear about uh, all. Turn it out in a 1D array. Let's come to 2D array. Okay. Ah, uh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, so this is a way to retrieve a separate, a particular index. Okay, but when we need to store, actually, when we need to retrieve all data, okay, to retrieve all data, and it means uh, all array value. Okay, so what we'll do? So simply like for loop. Okay, use for loop in k or in i is equal to zero because uh, index value start with zero the index value of array start with zero okay so i start with zero and uh, i less than a dot length okay and i plus plus Okay, 
will print All element of array will be uh, at the index value zero is uh, 23, 34, 35, 50, 46, and 57. Okay, so this is all about uh, 1D array. Now let's declare uh, 2D array. So, what is the syntax uh, for writing 2D array? Sir, uh, once again, please, uh, please give on the print statement for and print all those elements in array, sir. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, I have missed that statement. No. Uh, uh, one minute, sir. One minute, sir. In which line is about? Oh, it's fair. Tell me, in which line you have a doubt? Actually, today I've covered all three types of array. Okay, so I don't have time. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, sir, please show that uh, diagram, sir. That far loop. Oh, I have taken the screenshots. Oh, okay. Okay. Told me I'm provide all this code for you. Okay. okay. Uh, you need uh, some code. Actually, this code already everywhere on uh, net. Okay, you can copy it, but uh, you need to this program. You can send me. I'm just uh, share with you this code. Okay. So let's uh, to the uh, okay. So, what is the syntax of 2D array? Int A again, okay. And the uh, I am not uh, cover this point. Actually, this is not necessary, but uh, you have to see just uh, actually according to my first uh, when I am declare 1D array, same as a 2D array, okay. So, this is a syntax. So, first we will uh, declare uh, actually declaration and second write uh, initialization and a uh, second uh, uh, creation okay and uh, same all process same process as a uh, one d array okay same as one d array but get totally a uh, little thing you can uh, skin sort uh, for 2d array you can take a snapshot okay. so i'm declaring 2d array and uh, this is a 2d array uh, you tell me how many number of four row in this uh, array. So tell me how many number of four row and column in this array. Sir, uh, three rows and three columns, sir, because uh, first of all, we create an, uh, three rows, uh, which is uh, 23, 45, 34. Then afterwards, uh, we have created a column with the head of uh, 23, 34, 45, sir. So, uh, this line, you have to understand about this. Actually, uh, it's you are right. Huh? You are right. Uh, some for other persons, okay. I'll just show you. Okay. When I'm right like this. Okay. So that means it's created. First, uh, it will create uh, three uh, row. Okay, inside this array, there is a three row. Okay. So your screen is freezed. 
Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm not actually uh, not free. Share my diagram. Now, is it visible? Yes, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So when I'm right this way, uh, when I'm a creator in this uh, array in this way, so it will create a first uh, inside this array three row. Okay. So it. Uh, Zero, and their index value also know zero, one, and two. Okay, and uh, each row, this is one row, two row, and three row, and each row point another array. Okay, and uh, this array has a three column. Okay, so it will be it will refer another array. This is uh, another array. And uh, what is the how many number of column in this array? So there is a three column. Okay. Forty-five digits, and then okay. Digits. And uh, also this column, this row. Okay. Print uh, this row. Point out other other array. Okay. And uh, this array has a three. Okay. So again. This point another array. Okay, this point another array. An array has a three column also. Okay. Okay, and same as a three column. It's also same. Should uh, when I'm writing this, so inside it create a uh, three row, okay, and each row point out as uh, other uh, array, okay. So this row point out other array, array. and uh, this row has a three column, and each column the value value is a In our first row, value is twenty three, and the second column value is thirty four. In a story in a third column twenty uh, forty five. Okay, and then again uh, for this uh, index, okay, for forty five, fifty six, and fifty six again. What is the uh, element for uh, this all columns? Thirty-four, eighty-seven, fifty-six, sir. Thirty-four, eighty-seven, and and fifty-six. Okay. This is array. When I'm right, and okay. See, understood about uh, when I'm writing this. So, what is the image? Click. Ah, uh, which type of? Uh, Sir, so, it's a two dimensional array. It's character because we have yeah, a, a, uh, one row point, one column. Uh, one, one row and okay. one column. We have array means uh, uh, C. Yes, sir. Right. Actually, this is an array. Okay. This uh, this is an array. Okay. And uh, array has a row, okay. So zero zero because uh, there is no column, but uh, there uh, zero column point out this array. And what is the length of this array? Actually, a I'm writing. Okay, this a point this array. Okay, and uh, size of this array is three. Okay. Zero, one, and two. 
this is the index index number but their size is 3 so a point this array but uh, the this column point out other other array okay suppose i am uh, writing Suppose I am writing int uh, a a zero. Okay, so I am writing a zero. Okay, so when I am uh, point out uh, this uh, array, so it will refer this array. Okay, means this. Uh, refer this refer to this array okay this array and okay this array refer to this array and their size is a0 size okay a0 size is what size this size is 3 okay and uh, when i am right A one, okay. A one, and uh, A two, okay. So this uh, this refer to this array, and this refer to this array okay so let's see according to program okay clear this out. okay so when i am first uh, i am printing all values okay suppose i am a particular uh tell me uh, uh when i uh, i want to print this a specific value this element. So, what will I do? Have any idea? Sir, once again, please, sir. Printing, what I have to do to print this sir, element? Sir, you have given but, that uh, index value of that number means it will be have printed, sir. So, suppose first uh, we need, uh, we know about uh, what is the index value, uh, row and column. So, it will uh, in a zero row. Zero row, zero, okay. and zero, column, zero so. row and zero column. So to print this value, we need S Y. Okay, a zero row zero and column zero. Okay, so I'm printing. So this is twenty three. Okay. But uh, when I am just print, so in a in a diagram, I am show you this print this array also again. Okay, this array, but not print a specific column. It print all uh, this array. Okay, so what is so it uh, print some class as a name. Let's see, this is this is a class name. Okay, class name for this. Okay, and when I am to try to print this, uh, so it's uh, refer another class. See again, and uh, when I am to try to, okay, so what will happen? See, this print. Sir, I also have error like that, sir. Uh, it's cannot get the correct value of an output, sir. Why, sir? Uh, Uh, in which line actually you uh, do this uh, project in your own computer? Yes, sir. I am uh, doing this project in my desktop, sir. Now, please show me your screen. Where you? Uh, so I attending in laptop, but I have turned on my camera and show it, sir. Camera. I didn't get you. Uh, what it is? Uh, it's visible, sir. Uh, 
Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. I'll just make a maximize with it. It's not visible, it's blurry. Actually, uh, it's not. Uh, uh, you use so, the uh, in your uh, mobile. Actually. Yes, sir. I am attending a webinar in mobile, but I have done my classes. In... Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, afterwards, I have sent the screenshot, sir. Okay, okay. I am I'm share all the screenshot. Okay. Oh, okay, Are sir. So basically this line and what we'll do to is retrieve all element. Okay. So when we want to retrieve all element, so simply for loop, get for loop and int i is equal to zero because the index value is zero, start with zero and uh, a sorry i less than a dot length. And this is for a uh, row and uh, I have to run uh, other uh, loop to count the columns. Okay. So this only for uh, actually row and uh, create a uh, for loop again. For loop, j is equal to zero, j less than a dot i. All okay. So I want link in a matrix format. Okay. Okay. So this is my. 2D array, 3 row and 3 column. At 0 row, 0 column, 23, 0 row, 1 index, uh, 0 0.1, 24, 0 row, uh, 0 row, and uh, third column, value element is 45. According to this, uh, okay. So this is a way to retrieve all elements of 2D array. Okay. And uh, yeah. to, yes. Yes, tell me. Sir, the row number is zero, but uh, uh, column number is why not we start from zero? Actually, uh, I am considered as a row and column, but uh, each row, each row point out a one D array. Okay, this is the concept. Sir, uh, is this. sir it's like. A a square like structure uh, row is the corner in the right side uh, so it's it it's indicate first only a row has compulsory as indicate the first number in cube okay. you have c and uh, left corner right means you have c, Suppose, c and zero uh, see this uh, actually follow this line okay uh, follow this for execution okay first uh, i will zero okay so a dot line what is the a what is the value of a dot line because it's a uh, point out the parent child. Okay. So this is a array. Okay. This is array. Okay. And their size is three, one array, one row, two row and three row in this array. Okay. In this array, there is a three row. So the value is three. So zero less than three condition is true. Okay. So condition is true. So 
cursor uh, move in this line okay in this row so i will remain zero but j j at the first time j is zero okay and i and uh, i i i value uh, the value of i is zero so a dot zero which uh, array will point on uh, a dot zero so this array this array point when i am pointing a dot zero so it will point this array and uh, size of this array is three okay so three less than zero condition is true again so simply uh, the value of i and zero put in this arrow array so here row is zero and uh, column is zero so at zero and zero okay so what element at zero and zero so 23 so it will print 23 again it, it, this loop execute again this loop uh, this loop execute so that times it will increase and their value is one so one less than g three add uh, length not to increase adult length is fixed this is a three so one less than three condition is again true and that uh, enter in this line okay so that time so j is uh, uh, is one okay so this is a size of a one and one one okay so it will print all these things okay so it will uh, this loop uh, execute again and again while the condition of this is not uh, becoming false okay Uh, understood. Uh, so let's uh, come to the third dimension array. Actually, actually I'm not about, I mean, inform you some about uh, what is the matrix. Matrix basically. Sir, uh, sir, I have one doubt, sir. In 10th line, you do not give a print ln, sir. It's do not uh, give, it do not uh, occur any error. How, no, sir? Uh, sorry. Uh, actually, why are you not using laptop uh, to join this meeting? Actually, have any problem? You can, you can share with me. Uh, so your uh, share your screen. But uh, okay, sir. Upcoming class, I have attended my uh, in laptop, sir. Just try, just try to join in a laptop. Because yes, uh, yes, have any yes. problem? You can, uh, I mean, formally okay. you can do. Okay. okay. So you can share your screen. Mm, okay, sir. I'm declaring a third dimension array, okay? So this is third dimension array, but uh, this is, okay, I'm writing these two and these two. And this. So uh, this index, actually this is refer uh, first uh, show the diagram. Sir, I got output. Two sir, next two topic is a three dimensional array. Sir. Three -dimensional array. Okay. Sorry, this is not a gist.
This uh, this uh, square bracket uh, refer to index of uh, array because uh, index of array means uh, three dimension always say uh, it's also called array of array. Okay, inside one array has another array, and in this array have a uh, another array. Okay, so array in the in the array. Okay, so consider this uh, line. Make it uh, wait. wait, wait. Uh, which is can you are uh, able to show? Uh, paint. Or you yes, can paint. Okay. Yes. So, sir. So let's some diagram. Okay. Suppose I'm writing. Uh, wait. Uh, wait. So this means this refer index of array. Okay. This refer row and this column. Okay. This is new index of array. And this is column index and row index. Okay, so what is the diagram for 3D? So when I'm create, so it is so how many number of index? Okay, see, sir, there is a three number of index. This is one up to here. Okay, this is one in uh, index. This is two index. Okay, here uh, and this is a three index. Okay, so it will three, one, and two. Okay, and cut index uh, point of uh, Sorry, it, uh, this uh, first index uh, point uh, this all part by part as well. Okay, this index point uh, this. Okay, first two and, zero. Uh, zero index second is this okay well, and uh, this uh, indicate this array so getting an again So how many number of row in this uh, array? Tell me. Sir, uh, uh, I think uh, okay. two rows are in this first index. Uh. Uh, pretty right. In this array, there's a two row. Okay. And in this? Two rows, same. Again, two rows. And the uh, rest is? There are also have two rows. Also two rows. Okay. Mm. And uh, this block also refer other mat array. Okay. So it refer which array? Sir, one second, please, sir. Okay. This block or this column or this row. Okay. This row point out other one other. Array okay, so it's this, like multi uh, sir. It's like a multi dimensional array, sir. Yeah, this is a multi dimensional array, could you also multi dimensional? Okay, sir. So tell me about a uh, uh, number of uh, actually this uh, row point out this array and this row point out this array, same as for uh, others, okay. Uh, same as for uh, okay. 
And uh, how many number of column in this array? Sir, one row, three columns, sir. Actually, uh, when I'm consider this thing, uh, consider the 23, uh, 20, 23, okay. 30. There is a one. Okay. So this is refer this array. Okay. But uh, inside this, uh, this all block refer other another another array. That means one. Oh, sorry, it's hidden. One and this is two and three. This is okay. Three array, but each array has a two column. One column, two column. Same as one column, two column, and same as one column, two column. Okay, but uh, see in this uh, column already. Uh, uh, this is also declare some array. Okay, one array, and the size of array is three. Means uh, inside the array three columns. Okay. So draw for this, this is a three column, and for this, this is because there are uh, also one row, it point this and this point this. Okay, this block point this array, this block point this array. Okay, and this is point this. Okay, understood, and uh, this has a Three elements. Okay, means three columns. Again, inside this also three columns. Again, three columns. Okay. And for this, this is three. Yeah. And uh, value, what is the uh, value in all this? Uh, the value. Sir, so please display it in this method right. of matrix, sir. Given the value in this matrix method, sir, it is easy to understand, sir. Oh, wait, wait. First, uh, I'll see. Suppose uh, we want actually there is a okay. I'm showing matrix format. Okay. There is a value is a 23 in uh, in this 34 in this block 45. 45. Again this again this uh, for this uh, array. Okay, 45, 56, and 56 again. As for this uh, okay, and when I am to point this okay, suppose here. Here the some value okay value is a twenty three, uh twenty three okay so when we want to point when we point this twenty three so what we'll do sir uh, a is equal to that uh, index value zero sir zero actually index value zero and uh, column value the column value column value zero column value also zero sir and, uh, row uh, sorry a row value. Sir, uh, same as row as column, uh, both are zero, sir. Yes, yes, yes. So for uh, point this value, point, for pointing this value, this is a zero index. Okay, so zero index. In zero index, uh, it will point uh, other array, and uh, this array has a two index, two row. Okay, so this row is zero. So this row point this column. Okay, uh -huh. zero, one, two. So this value in a zero column. So first it will zero, again it's zero column, zero uh, column in a zero column. Okay. So you want to show matrix format. Okay. Because it's a three row, three columns. Okay. So it's simply uh, create a three row. First, I remove these all things. There is no space. Thank you. 
Mr. Ogan point out this two column. Actually, actually, this is not today. Okay. Actually, I am forget this thing. Actually, okay, this is three day because inside inside one array has a one array. Inside one array, one array inside other array. Uh, uh, Isra, yes, uh, mute your mic actually. Uh, somewhere. So listen first. Uh, this is a three D array. Three D array means uh, inside the array has some other array. Okay. So I'm not pointing like this uh, in a matrix form because matrix is a two D. Okay. They have uh, all the fo uh, follow. 1D, I mean, uh, some row and column. Okay. But uh, there is uh, another. But inside this uh, matrix, okay, inside the matrix have another mat uh, matrix. And uh, in that matrix have another one matrix R. So how to show? Okay. You want to show the 3D structure. Okay. Just simply go on uh, Java T point and uh, click uh, search 3D three dimensional array on the on the on that side you saw a figure okay about uh, index uh, about a 3d picture okay but uh, now i am not uh, able to draw in a matrix format okay 3d can't be draw, draw in a matrix format can draw in a, this format okay again this is uh, again uh, can you not show in the Google? All things uh, see by me, all me. You can see uh, on Google and you can search on Google and see what is that diagram of. Uh, okay. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. understood about. Uh, okay. So let's uh, uh, come to my eclipse. See. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, now you have going to code uh, about uh, three dimensional array, sir, or the classes or whatever, sir. Uh, you see my Eclipse page. Okay. Okay. So, Eclipse. so this is a declaration and uh, initialization of three D array. Okay. You can okay. declare in a other way because there is I'm writing all these things. Okay, all these uh, things about uh, 3D array, 2D array, how to declare oh, separately, how to create separately. Uh, code, sir. I will take a screenshot, sir. Oh, this is not complete. Okay, first I will complete is then after I have to tell you to take okay. this as snapshot. Okay. Okay, sir. So I'm declaring 3D array. Okay. So when I actually first time, I'm not committing, removing this whole thing. Okay. So I want to retrieve particular, okay, a particular index, a particular element. Okay. Suppose uh, this is, I want to retrieve this element. Okay. I want to retrieve this element. So what we'll do? What is the syntax? Sir, which element, sir? Uh, five, three, four. This is five, three, four. I want to print. So what will do? What um, I have to do? Especially that part is from second index, sir. Second okay. index. Um, inside this, what I put, what value I put uh, in this field, in this field, and in this. In this. First, uh, first uh, index is zero. Then uh, uh, second one is um, second index. Yeah, tell me and uh, I see show you <laughs> which value will so okay second in, in this in this in this square bracket which value I put one net uh, tell me this where you told me about uh, uh, what is I Okay, wait. Sir, two given a two, sir. Okay, two, then next. Sir, there are four elements in that. 
ಎಷ್ಟಾಗ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಕೋರೋ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಕೋಲಮ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹೂಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಟು ಪುಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ದೆನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ರೋ ಇಚ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟೂ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಮೈ ಮೈ ಡಾಟಾ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಐ ಪುಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ because the index is start with zero so it is zero it's one and it's two okay yes. then uh, what's the second what is the second process second Sir, process, one, come process on. in which row in which row in which row this which is, column it has been pressed yeah. on there so this is uh, one index uh, in yeah. in this index uh, second row second row means one row it is zero row zero row and this is one one row okay so so let's so check right or not come this way. 543 yeah my data is 543 so everyone understood how to uh, retrieve uh, a specific value sir it's the main uses of uh, 3d diamonds what is the actually, purpose of the uses of 3d diamonds actually you know about uh, what is 3d you know about what is 3d because sir, 3d has uh, a Length, row, breadth, height, any x axis, y axis, and z axis also. Also, okay. Yes, sir. Mm. You can't represent uh, in a 2D. Actually, is a 3D in other way? You can uh, declare a 2D. Like uh, when you show some matrix, uh, so matrix is a 2D, okay? Because it uh, mm. follows the concept row and column value. As like you can say x axis and y axis also. Okay. But uh, in case of 3D, there is a in another index value okay so you can not uh, in slice this uh, i can not express this index value okay okay so sir my biggest doubt is how to access the whole data uh, in a particular line or a particular part uh, without for loop we cannot be able to access the whole data also uh sorry repeat again what did you say you want sir, to in previous in previous uh, in previous 2d diamond diamond scenario you have uh, 1d one 1d one array uh, in one you have used a for loop and uh, printed all those data in a single line um, by uh, uh, retrieve all element separately uh, yes sir yeah. so you can write this suppose first you have to print this uh, okay so first you have to print uh, zero index value 
so it will be in the zero 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 here mention zero zero and zero okay and then yeah. again uh, copy this line Sir, I think it's clear. It takes a lot of time to code. Yeah, that uh, okay. So it's uh, taking lots of time. Okay. okay. And uh, mention here zero zero one uh, zero 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 one. I have zero sir, zero. Changes that two. index value means it will be represented at another value. Okay. Okay, sir. I have clarified. You understood. Yes, right, sir. At the most, uh, how many times you write? One time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up to three into three nine, uh, twenty-seven times, sir. Okay. So why are you okay, writing sir. code this uh, twenty-seven times, sir? So simply I, by using use for loop loops, it can... to retrieve all uh, all the data. Okay. So what mm -hmm. is the process to retrieve? So first, uh, you use what? three for loop. Okay. You use three for loop to separately. First okay. for loop. Used to retrieve index value. Second for loop used to uh, used to retrieve uh, row value, and mm. third is column. Okay, so okay. for loop last part. Yes, and uh, I in I is equal to zero. Then I is no I less than sorry less than a dot length a dot length. Okay, and then. I plus. I plus plus. I plus plus. This this loop for uh, for for J in their range. index value. Okay. Again, clear for this loop. J in range I is equal to. They zero. start with zero. Why is zero? Because index value start with zero. Okay. So yeah. In J is zero. And uh, again A. Okay. Dot then length. I, J plus plus. Sir, I do not define an integer data type. Sir, for J. In tenth line. Oh, again. I T. Okay. That's right. And we need to put an another for loop. Again for column. J equal to zero. Equal to zero. A is lesser than A. So then lesser than A. Then I. I comma. We have given a K. I and here J. K and dot length. Dot length. Then colon. Then K plus plus. Then we need to give an. System dot so out dot print and just simple print for a command plus i j j k and j k. Yeah. Actually, I want to have print in a other. Plus, so that space has considered. It's taking uh, some like space. Okay. okay, sir. Okay, it's uh, in a single line, but uh, when I'm used. Not print in a 2D. Okay. So, this is a value first array. Okay. Uh, found this all elements. 
थ्री फोर थ्री एंड थ्री हेलो सर यस क्लास इज ओवर सर जस्ट प्लीज माइंड एम लेट्स चेक या सी दिस वैल्यू ओके so this is all value inside a array 3d array okay i'm retrieve all retrieve all element okay so this is a process and this part uh, actually nothing had to do for today okay today you have give me some time so i will show you so i think actually this data uh, sorry Uh, actually, you give some time, so I know you how to take data from your input. Actually, at the run time, you can choose this all data. Okay, you have time, so tell me. Okay, but we have done time and uh, you are getting bored, so you can say to stop this sharing, to stop this meeting. Okay, so tell me what is your answer. Ah, so okay, leave it. Ah, uh, leave it. Okay. Next day, okay. I will show this program. Okay, again, uh, taking all value, taking all value by by user. Okay, all element taken by the user. How and uh, show some program how to destroy. Just a uh, simple listen to me. Just I am creating one simple program and uh, how to take value. Just one minute. Okay. Oh, okay, sir, we see you on next class, sir. Okay, okay, just okay. So, ah, uh, stop because this is the two and a half hour class. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Actually, this a three twenty means a two hour twenty minutes. Sir. Yes, sir. Actually, I have not uh, so much time to cover this. Okay, so that's why I am uh, taking long class, sir. Because I am not prefer to taking long class. Ah. Uh, Sir, it's not problem, sir. I hearing it said uh, that only the the I was like that. Okay, hearing. Okay, let's stop. Okay, let's stop sharing. Okay, sir. 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 Ok